Do you like action? Disney movies? What about fantasy? Final Fantasy. If so, I'm Rexrick for the Let's Play Community Channel, and here's why you should play Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts 2 is a 2006 Sony PlayStation 2 game that is a sequel to 2004's Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance. Kingdom Hearts 2 takes place one year after the end of Chain of Memories. You play a majority of the game as Sora, a boy who wants to find his friend Riku and go home, who teams up with a band of misfits usually comprising of Goofy and Donald Duck. You and your party travel around to different worlds, each based off a Disney franchise, not just the animated movies, to fight and destroy Heartless, 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 Heartless. controlled by Maleficent and Pete that steals the hearts of people, thus turning them into Heartless, blah blah blah. However, the main villains of the game are an evil group called Organization 13, comprising of 13 nobodies. The remnant lookalikes have a person who had been turned into a heartless. Nobodies have no heart, so they cannot feel. They do, however, have the memories of what emotions were like and can mimic them to great detail. The first reason why you should play this game is the story. The Kingdom Hearts storyline is so huge and confusing it's hard to find a jumping off point. Kingdom Hearts 2 is the best for this, not only because it explains what happened in Kingdom Hearts 1 and collazes over what happened in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, but it is also what is the rest of the following games are branching off of. It's also one of the best stories in the series, so there's that. The game starts off with the player waking up in a bedroom. For those of you not in the know, this is not Sora, but the greatest character in all of Kingdom Hearts history. Spoiler warning for the first game and also like an hour into this one, the beginning of the game is spent playing as Roxas in the world of Twilight Town. Roxas, as you easily could have guessed, is Sora's nobody, created when Sora was turned into a Heartless at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1 and then immediately turned human again thanks to a hug. You can tell because his name is Sora jumbled around with an X thrown in there somewhere, a common trend with other nobodies. After enough time getting attached to Roxas and getting through the tutorial world, he's forgotten about for a while as Sora is awoken with Goofy and Donald, and they go on their way to different worlds based off Disney properties, fighting Heartless and Nobodies, meeting up with famous Disney characters such as Merlin, Chip and Dale, Mickey, and Minnie, as well as Final Fantasy characters like Vivi, Leon, and Cloud. The second reason to play this game is the combat. At the beginning of the game, the player chooses what they want to specialize in, strength, defense, or magic. The player has abilities such as blocking, normal strike, and finishing moves when at the end of a combo. The combat, however, takes a little getting used to, especially since the characters don't run very fast or jump easy, but that is all forgotten when you get into the groove of slaughtering Heartless. Each character also has abilities the player can switch around for others. Don't block much, disable it, and switch on a finishing move. It's that easy. The third reason you should play the game is the fact that you get to immerse yourself in over 10 different Disney movies. In fact, in all of the games there are only 4 worlds that aren't directly based off a movie. The worlds range from Beauty and the Beast to Mulan to The Little Mermaid to Tron and Winnie the Pooh, and to even Pirates of the Caribbean and Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a childhood come true. On each world, based off a movie of course, the player goes through a shortened playable version of the movie. This could range from singing and dancing with Ariel under the sea, to chasing a booing Agrabah, to fighting cursed pirates with someone who kind of sounds like Johnny Depp. And who doesn't like that? So, if you've been binging Disney movies, want to get into Kingdom Hearts, or just a big fan of Final Fantasy, this game is the perfect choice. It's available on PS2 if you've got a pawn shop nearby or don't mind eBay, but also in remastered re-releases like Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix for PS3 that include spin-off games Birth by Sleep and Recoded, as well as a complete Kingdom Hearts collection called Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix coming early 2017, sometime around the release of Kingdom Hearts 3. So, if you've been wanting to play every game in the series, there is no better time than now. Thanks for watching.